It's Superhero, and you're listening to Inspirado Projecto. Okay, so I'm editing wedding videos, and I'm currently listening to, by Stuart Wilde, I'm listening to The Infinite Self. It blows me away how many revelations and examples this guy is using in this uh, that have, that it completely, completely mesh with um, Usu, with ubiquitous serendipity, serendipitous ubiquity. It's astounding. So I'm, I'm listening to this infinite self. That's the sacred way. Step 26 is physical discipline. As you probably understand now from listening to these sessions, the journey towards the infinite self is one of discipline. So it isn't an easy journey. You know, when you watch TV, people promise you so, the world. So, I'm reading, so I'm listening to this, and meanwhile, I'm, I'm editing this wedding video, and right now, they just tie, quote, tied the knot, so to speak, right? So here's, here, you, you get, get a chance to hear this. Here we go. <laughs> This is the infinity knot, and they're tied together forever. Thank you. The infinity knot. The infinity knot. So they just they just enacted the whole uh, tying the knot thing that we always hear about. They actually truly tied the knot, and it's called the infinity knot. How incredible! How incredible! your own healer you're going to have to understand the physical body and learn about it and care for it you're going to have to create physical disciplines in order to not only heal your body refresh it but to take it to a new place this is just so incredible um this is great i mean this thing is like five hours of the 33 steps um as soon as this is done i'm going to play it again I'm going to play it all throughout. A lot of times when I'm, I'm, listen, I'm doing these wedding videos, I don't really even need to listen to the sound. I'm just picking out little tiny little bits. Um, other times I am doing the sound, but I can also keep other stuff going on at the same time. It really pays off to listen to like positive speakers, like uh, 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 motivational speakers, people who who have nuggets of information that that help you along the way it's just phenomenal and to have this synchronization synchronization happening just explodes my brain you're listening to inspirato projecto and there's going to be a lot more of these synchronicities coming up the uh ubiquitous serendipity serendipitous ubiquity is flowing Hello, Mr. Malone Brass. Species. It is. Genus and species. Oh, geez. It's suddenly... I did not try to do any recording, so we're... It's we're, stuck we're, at it's six. Recording. It, whoops. Oh, it's skipping now. Now it's moving. Are you never not recording Now we're suddenly... I, this one is ex accidental. I was trying to save the last thing I just did, and now all of a sudden... Polly Shores right now. Well, I was asking about the mulberry. About the mulberry. All around... Yeah, all the mulberry. All around. The, the grapes, the wine grapes. Better. Yeah, what are your thoughts about the grapes? I think the mulberry has some role to play in the grape, uh, the, the process of making wine. Oh, oh that's what I was wondering. That's yes. what I was wondering. Can you make wine from the mulberries? Uh, no, I think it just plays a part in the, in the process. Oh, okay. Are you looking at this? Are you digging the scene right now? I am, dude. I am, dude. Like they're having a wine flight I'm right digging now. it the most, man. I'm digging it the most. Look at this. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, if you could see where the stage is set up right here. We've been so blessed with playing out in the nature lately. Nature, 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 nature. Oh my God, this is beautiful, beautiful. Here's your fun fact. James Cameron sought Hollywood funding for the movie Titanic, not because he wanted to make the movie, because he wanted to do, dive to the shipwreck. Stay tuned to Inspirato Projecto for more fun facts. 
which is great. Now, um, now, oh, here, let's, let's spread out a little bit, just so these can... So, and now, uh, what, what is your name, sir? Uh, I'm Tony Armour, and I directed Portrait of a Superhero. That is so fantastic. How did you first come across him? Uh, Superhero and I actually met in the gym probably 2001, 2002, and became friends and then started filming all kinds of stuff. And I, uh, and just last December, I usually take the last two weeks of the year off, and I had 10 years of footage of us sitting around doing things. And I was like, why don't I just make a documentary about you? And he's like, yeah, go ahead. Um, and we did one more interview, the, the main interview that you see with him and his wife, and then some B-roll. And I just put the thing together, basically. So, th so that was over the course of 10 years, everything that you had compiled? Oh, yeah, a lot of that footage, yes. You know, you you get a vacation and you want to edit stuff. And all the editors I know told, I told them that. One of them said, if I had to go on a vacation and edit something, I would kill myself. <laughs> so that just goes to show what, a, what kind of a filmmaker you are. When, you, when he's not doing his film job... He wants to edit things. So I don't That's know. It's incredible. Well, you or know, I think it here. also probably helps a lot with the with the subject that he had. You're very you're very dynamic. Your whole story is dynamic. So I can see why he'd want to jump in there and, and put that together. I really appreciate him doing it. Yeah, uh, I was in the uh, HBO documentary in uh, 2011 called Superheroes that you probably can still see on HBO Go if you look for it. You you can. You can. Yes. That's good to know. And uh, I kind of thought this was a really nice capstone to everything that I'd done over the course of the past 20 years. You know, a lot of people are, you know, worried about securing their legacy or leaving something that lasts or something like that. But I don't need to worry about that because Tony <laughs> took care of it for me. So. so if you have 10 years worth of material, I mean, you, that actually could be one of those you know, a Hulu series or Netflix series or something. There, there is a lot that I didn't put in there. I could have made probably made a feature documentary, but I only wanted to spend about two weeks doing it, so I didn't want to, you know, kind of go, cra go crazy <laughs> with it. Yeah, I was like, how long can I, I, I got vacation, how long can I put this thing together? So we, you know, there's, there's things percolating. I might start writing a feature script version and see what we can do, tell some childhood stories. Yeah, kind of we, were, we were actually discussing who would play me in a feature length, would it, either Michael Chiklis or Hugh Dillon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one? Chiklis. 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 There you go. Now, have you gotten a chance, uh, Superhero, to meet any of your, your childhood idols, any of your favorite... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you could like see... Who? Well, you could see in the room uh, a lot of the autographs and everything like that. I met Adam West. That was the highlight of it that was uh i'll never forget that that was one moment i've uh it was actually kind of funny i took lady hero with me and she says you don't want to meet him and i was like for the love of god why and she says he's 80 years old now he's gonna and i was like oh i see what you're driving at he's not gonna be batman he's gonna be this little old man and I said, well, maybe he'll come out of his iron lung long enough to <laughs> yes. find autographs for people and this kind of thing. So we get to Orlando, and sure enough, he comes out from behind the curtain looking like Tarzan, all tan and everything like that. And he says, who's this muscular young man right here? He shakes <laughs> my hand, and he goes, and she's like, that's him? Oh, my God. And she was just enamored with him. But it was so funny because she was a... Because even in the comics, if Batman, if you look in the future books and stuff, he's like in his 70s and 80s, and he's still kicking ass and taking names, and that's what Adam West was. So, yeah, he, he, he hadn't aged, he'd aged very well. <laughs> it's fantastic. I think when you have youthful spirit, you, you live longer. Oh, yeah, I'm going to ask this guy some questions here. So, Under the Flowers, yes. he did, huh? Yes, right. yes. Uh, and what is your name? Richard Wilson. So how long did it take for you to edit all that? My gosh, it's like every two or three seconds, there's like a new sound coming in. I know. I know. Well, happening. We, I, we edited that over probably a course of about a, I edited that about over the course of about a month. A month and a half. That's it? That's One it. month we shot, all we that? shot it in two days. And we what the heck? It. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm used, I've been doing this, like making short films for a long time. I had another company for a long time called Outreach Arts that does a lot of, uh, that did a lot of activist related things, mental health related things for kids. And we worked with nonprofits all over the country where they were all shorts that were like icebreakers to get people to talk about the issues in the schools and things like that. Did that for about 25 years. 
one of our outreach arts actors is here tonight, Kyle Kreiner. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, Hello. And uh, we did that, and then basically 25 years is, is a long time, and I got burnout. And I, I love the work, but I couldn't do it. Mancelli Films is what we started. I said, hey, I remember when I used to do all this stuff, when I used to love Godzilla and Batman <laughs> and all the good stuff. I loved watching that. And it took me back, and I said, well, let me take a shot. We did a short called The Halloween Girl, which was very... Everybody liked that. Then we said, I'm going to take it further. I'm going to do something called Under the Flowers, bring her in, create this whole world. We did that. People liked that. And then we did the second one, and and we've got a whole bunch written. So uh, we've created a whole universe, basically. So, so it looked at, at, in, the, in the credits there, it said that was season one? Season two, actually. Oh, that was season, season two. Season two, yeah. So how many... Okay, so I'm imagining that I, each I of those... I season little... one a credit because we used stuff from season one in the... Uh, that, that was, that's what it was. Oh, gotcha. So did you did you put them out each of those little those little segments onto YouTube or something? And how did that work? They're actually yeah, we did that at first, and then uh, uh, we have a distributor called Op Prime TV, and all our all our Mad Shelley film stuff uh, all goes through there. So the first three things that we've done. So you know we're keeping so our people can see the stuff. Just yes, like on on OP, how? How OP, OP Prime TV is the, uh, is the it's like a Netflix. Uh, type place for indie filmmakers, and that's where all our stuff is for Under the Flowers. And so, do they put out each entire season at a time? Yeah, or they got them just pull out. They, whatever we have is there, so you know they just kind of drop them. You know, that's cool. Now, do you do all the the effects and everything? Yeah, do you, you do all the editing yeah. and everything. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many layers oh, that are going on. Thank you very it's much. It's crazy. Do you do, the sound, do you do the music too? Uh, I didn't write the music. Uh, no, uh, we, Zach Ziegler, uh, who was in the film, who was the guy trying to knife the, uh, uh, mm. he, he actually is a wonderful singer-songwriter from Pennsylvania, and he has done the music for all our Matt Shelley stuff, and some of the Outreach Arts stuff, actually. So he's wonderful. It was music. just so, cra- it, oh, it they're just, a great cast. They it, really are. They're you never really could cast. really truly get your, I can never truly get my bearings in it, because I was just, oh, I was like trying to figure it out, and it was like, good, good. good. <laughs> this is probably my third time seeing this thing, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, I think I might kind of have a little bit of a handle on what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot going on at once. Uh, yeah, it's everything in the kitchen sink in this one. I said, I'm just putting it all in this stuff. Which is great, because each time you see it, you notice a new, right. a new layer. Absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Can you pass it yeah, down for me, please? Okay, so you yeah. uh, you did. Uh, oh, you guys, can we scoot down this way a little bit? I'm noticing that these poor guys are getting squashed up oh, against yeah. the. Oh, thank you, guys. Okay, so yeah. you great job with the. You did cold. Yes. And, yes. and what is your name? I'm Ed Wright. So yes. did you did you put it together? I noticed you acted in it. Did you? Uh, I, I'm the director and the writer, but I had a good team, an editor, uh, a great producer. They all helped, and, and it's a great, uh, you know, I owe so much to the team. It really is. What, what's interesting is I like how it's kind of a Twilight Zone episode. Like, you're not expecting what you're about to see. Yeah, it, it's like a psychological salad that came out of my head, and I, I don't know where it really came from. Uh, a, a girl I met on a mental ward, I, I was an intern there, you know, learning psychology, but she'd been horribly abused, but she was beautiful. But she was like some kind of angel, but psychotic, nuts, from the abuse. Um, her, a beautiful minister, a young ministerial, ministerial intern who'd inspired me. I'm not really a church person, but wow, I, I almost joined because <laughs> of her, you know. And, and also a girl who rejected me, you know. So uh, I guess that's the guy who's getting beat up in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, she really made me feel low sometimes. Take me up, make me feel real low. So I think that's where that came from. But I can't really tell you where it all came out of. It just sort of formed. Well, it's neat how it's a showing without telling kind of thing. Because you're not really giving us... You're not telling what the heck... It's great you spotted that. That was really what I wanted to do. I uh, Show, don't tell, and leave things open to interpretation. Interpret, mm-hmm. interpretation so that you can read your own thing in and, and fill in some of the blanks on your own. I think people enjoy that more, trying to solve the mystery a little bit as you watch. So, yeah, because yeah. you're, you're just definitely not expecting her to bludgeon that nice guy, uh, right? Oh, and then no. and it was very gory. That was another ex- unexpected thing, too. Professional makeup artist did that. The guy who did uh, Vincent Price around the time he did Thriller, not for the Thriller video, but he, he worked with a lot of uh, stars in Hollywood, and he's really good. Um, uh, he he yeah, did a great yeah. makeup job. He yeah. All these different kinds of bloods, a blood that sticks to clothing but doesn't run or right. sticks to your skin but won't. All these different techniques, he was amazing. And uh, yeah, that I wanted, I put that in because 
I wanted to tell you that same old hackneyed story of down girl, guy comes into her life, lifts her up, and it's happily ever after. No, it's not. Some people don't want to be saved by love. And that's Deborah, my lead character. She doesn't want to be saved by love. She just wants to be left alone. So what was that like? Was it tricky to try to be the, to be the director and the actor in the scene at the same time? How did you... Uh, that you... was tough, and, I, and I, I'm glad I looked all right up there, because, yeah, you know, got so many things going on in my head at the same time. And Mary, who played Deborah, is so accomplished, much more than me. It was kind of intimidating working alongside her. By the way, she's a really cheerful, outgoing <laughs> person. You would ne It was hard, hard to get her to play that girl sometimes, because she'd suppress a giggle. But most of the time... Um, she said it was really hard for her to do that, very emotionally hard. Uh, she was abused as a kid. I didn't even know that before I got it. I just knew she was right for it. Figures out she was emotionally abused uh, by her brother, thrown downstairs, you know, awful stuff. And she drew on that to, you know, turn off the cheerful and, and get... She really felt what she was feeling on screen. It wasn't like hamming it up. I didn't know that until afterwards. But when I was watching her, I could tell she was going through something. So uh, it, it, she said at the time it was one of the most difficult roles for her to do emotionally. And, uh, uh, you know, I believe it. But, you know, she still managed to laugh a few times. Now, so, was this your first time seeing it on a, on a screen? Yeah, that was something. And I'm happy that it held up. I've only seen it on a small screen. You never know when it's blown up. It's quite up. a surprise, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, thank goodness it worked, you know. So, yeah, yeah. So can you uh, hand the microphone over to this, this fine gentleman here? Yes. All right, this is so great. We got su we have superheroes here. So, what is your name, sir? It's Mr. Extreme. And how long have you been? Uh, how long have you been helping out, folks? Uh, actually, this year now it's twenty years. Yeah, twenty years. That's fantastic. Yeah. What was the defining moment in you choosing choosing this particular art, alter ego? Oh, it's a long story. Uh, just uh, just got tired of the violent victimization of innocent people, getting people getting you know shot and killed, beat up and bullied. I uh, just wanted to go out and make a difference and uh, found this community and um, just channeled it. Yeah. That's fantastic. What are, what are some of your favorite uh, feats that you have performed? Uh, probably the the highlight of um, that I can think of in my career is probably stopping stopping a sexual assault. Yeah, we stopped the sexual assault out on patrol. This guy was trying to like drag this woman behind an electrical box, and we came up upon it, and we stopped it, and we got the cops and arrested the guy. That's probably the the biggest thing that I can think of. Yeah. That's fantastic. I'm glad you're out there helping people out and. Yeah, doing what we can, trying to inspire people and be a good role model and. Uh, now that I saw this film, this is uh, you've, you know, you've gives me even more inspiration because you know um, even though I've been doing it for a long time, but I myself also need to be inspired, and um, I think this this guy right here is very inspiring. Yeah, that's great. Um, can you pass the microphone to him? I'm curious about what you. Now, what uh, can you sh share with everyone? What what your name is, sir? Um, oh, here, let me stand over here. My name is uh, Heavier. How many years have I been doing this for? About three years. Okay. And then um, I have been in um, gang affiliation. Um, I drug dealed, and then I had a lot of people that died. So I met, I saw the HBO documentary, and then I have another friend that does this. So I've been doing this for about three years. And this guy has been whooping my butt and actually keeping me out of trouble. This is my buddy right here. That this is, is my fantastic. Right here, so so, so um, uh, I'm just tired of seeing that, you know, because I've been homeless, I've seen people on drugs, I've been on drugs, and I've been stabbed, I almost died a bunch of times, I'm just tired of seeing people like like yourselves that work hard and then they end up homeless, just like that movie I've seen, and then um, just seeing people just down yourself, get on drugs, and it's basically off each other off, so... And if and if and if it wasn't for me actually meeting this man, even though his belly's a little more bigger than mine, even though he likes to watch, uh, what is that you like to watch? Power Rangers. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, um, this uh, this this uh, badge actually changed my life. But this is just this is just a badge. It doesn't mean anything. And I learned a lot patrolling with this man. And it's a bunch of times because he's actually my boss at my work. So. 
there's a bunch of times this man wanted to rip my head off. So, uh, it's, it's just, uh, so it's been a pleasure watching the movie. And does anyone else want mine? <laughs> One mic? Well, I think we have to uh, end our, I, I hate to say it, but I think we have to actually end this segment because they got to get, uh, get the next uh, movie going. But thank you guys so much for coming out and being a part of this. And please make sure you take some photos of this while you're here. Tony will get it to you. We'll shoot it to you. Yeah, let me, uh, great job. It's so exciting, oh, yeah. you guys. Thank this you. is great so. Great job, too. Yeah, very you. rich Oh, texture. thank you very much. So I appreciate it. I really enjoyed it. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you, thank you guys. You. Thank you. I didn't get a chance to thank you. Oh, I'm you Kurt. Earlier. Kurt. Yes. Nice to meet you, and thank you so much. Oh, you're Louis welcome. Yeah, thanks tonight. for this. Oh, I yeah, love great. seeing uh, everyone get a kick out of seeing their movies up oh, on the screen. I really, I've seen the other movies, too. They're so impressive. Yeah. I just want to say the same thing. Very impressive selection. I mean, other festivals are like, yeah, you know, good and all, but this was. Really well thought out. I, I mean, it, yeah, it was yeah, really yeah, difficult pick, was picking totally. out what we're going to put up here. I mean, yeah. you look through hundreds of these films and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to go insane. Do I, I even want to yeah. do this? You know, and then yeah. when these moments happen, you're going, yeah, it's all worth it. You know, all yeah. the, all this craziness, like wow. it's it's worth it. Like Very trying to sift curated. through it all. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Rich, I mean that, yeah, because yeah. you could just, it was like, wow, this is really good. Everything's very consistent, very cool. Yeah. So good for you guys. Man. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, so. And I love seeing like the, the filmmakers and the creators meet each other yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, get yeah, to, yeah. you know, yeah, network absolutely. with each other and exchange because yeah. who knows who's going to end up working with each other right, in the future. Well, exactly. exactly. I, t I talked to some guys uh, who are in the festival, uh, I don't know, it was a couple of days ago right, and right. they met at a different festival, right. decided to join forces, make right. a movie, totally and then bzzz, they entered it into totally this agree. festival. And I finally so found you guys this year, and I said, oh, I really hope I get in this one, because you oh sounded my gosh. so cool. Thank you, you thank you, like thank you so us. much. You sounded like us. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I was like, I'm going to be really sad if we don't get it, because they sound like our people. Oh, my gosh, totally. You know? We this the, we love this kind of, you know, the Twilight Zone-ish kind of yeah, like, yeah. what? Here's yeah. a twist, yeah. and, that's, and the that's, 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 and the I, supernatural, and the, you know, the un the unconventional, I mean, you know, watching the superhero, like I was, I was crying the I first time I saw I it. I'm it like, great. oh yeah, god, it it's it's like watching the. Have you seen the new Mr. Rogers documentary yet? I haven't yeah. seen it because I, I'm actually like oh, waiting so to. Sweet. I, I kind of know that I'm gonna get all. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's like it's like going yeah. back to being like you know three, and I'm gonna yeah. be you know. So. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, when he died, it was like Linda and I were like. Oh, oh my gosh, know. I'm I really so happy. I learned something about you know I didn't know about this movement till I saw this. At first, I thought he was a fictional character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I vaguely and heard something about it. And these I mean, guys really go out and do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. So it's so cool. Get up. I have like a, <laughs> like a Deadpool type of look. Oh, oh cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. You got a whole Deadpool? Well, hold on. Deadpool. Deadpool. Oh, you got oh, a photo of yourself? You. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see that. Oh, okay. so I'll show you. Thank you very much. I don't know if you can get some in this is so cool. And it, so you saw an HBO documentary about yeah. him. No, that inspired I, you to get in contact I, with him? I, I, I actually know a friend that actually knew knew him and knew about it. And then, um, Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a long story. This is me right here. So I figured, uh, exactly. So I figured, uh, good one. While you're searching for that, uh, the only guy I had heard of, the only superhero that I had heard of, I think his name was Phoenix or Phoenix something. Jones? That was the one guy I had heard of before I heard about any of you guys. Why, have you met him? No, I'm happy about Oh, gotcha, oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. But he was the first one that I had ever heard about, and now it's great to come across you guys. In the Hold on, I'll find your one. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. And now I got my, my, uh, my lens on. Was that you in black? Pumpkin. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I thought yeah, so. I yeah, we're going to be showing here on uh, yeah. October. Oh, yeah, yeah tomorrow night the, for the last okay, cool. for the last thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's that uh, looks scary as hell. It that, is. It's like a Halloween. That's me, the yellow guy. Oh, my God, that's cool. Yeah. yeah that's you have like body yeah. armor? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 And you shine in the nighttime, yeah. right? Like, oh, who's that guy? Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, and what is, what is your name, miss? Oh, Magda. Nice I'm to Kurt. Meet nice to nice meet you. To meet you. Yeah. So, so yeah. you two put you two put this together? Yeah. No, no, no. I he put she, she he lives out here. I, I just live invited out here. her to come. So she oh, you live out here. She yeah, yeah. From West yeah. Hollywood. Uh, so how did you? How did you? We went on a ski trip. Well, no, he told me about it, but we went on a ski trip like a couple years ago. His friend. We have a mutual friend. So and that's how it happened. And. 
They're from Whenever Rangers. Whenever I come out to so, LA, I get out, out here a few times a year. We grab dinner, or drink, or whatever. And just that is out. so exciting to know that you happen to be out here during this time. Yeah. Like, how cool is that? When you have friends across the country, and then you happen to be in there for a special yeah. occasion, they're able to come by yeah. and check it out. He just randomly, like, comes here I was like, and there. I was like, like, I'll be like, like to hey, I'm going to be in LA next week. Uh, are you around? Uh, You're like, oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, but now this is, so this is your third year doing this? Yeah. Oh, it's so it's so rewarding to meet yeah. all the filmmakers yeah. and to see all the different yeah. films coming through, and then for yeah. them to meet each other yeah. Yeah, yeah. So and they great. get a kick, you know, you, get a kick you, out of each other. So you have one that's missing from the Black tonight, Widow, too? or two, as two opposed to a super. Well, what uh, do you mean? Oh, the, first, the homeless the film. Homeless the homeless one. one. Oh yeah, no, I don't think they're here. I don't think they're here. Yeah, I would have been curious to talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Cinematography was great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that production company funded it. I was just curious to see because I work for commercial production company we did yeah. something similar yeah. for something yeah. else yeah. Uh, so was, was it was it pretty expensive to do I mean it's a process because you know you have to go through you know different you know, sound design and then you have the people doing the music you know we had to like find a post it was it was for like a you know I forgot what it was it was for like these new directors that are up and coming like every year they put on like a show Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. they'll that's like cool. pick out 10 directors, somebody puts on the show, and they find it. Great job. So. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. cool. That's yeah. But yeah, but basically, uh, we funded it. So, like, film? we no, worked with like work film. editorial oh, and like film. a Sorry. couple other that's like okay. people. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it took a minute. Oh, yeah, it took amazing. a minute. And uh, I mean, it looked good, but I mean, some of the other ones that were appearing at that festival, too, were just like, oh my God, they had to have gotten some money somewhere. You do. Whenever I see like outside shots in different locations, I'm like, oh, was that guerrilla filmmaking? I know. They for, but I know. It's so funny, like, once you start making stuff, you start having those images in your brain. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, oh, is that someone's bedroom that they made to look like yeah, this thing? Or was exactly. It, but it, and, then it, and then it's, like, such an exciting thing to know when they pull it off. Yeah. And the fact that they might not have a very good budget, yeah. but they use their creativity to the best exactly. of their ability. You don't, yeah. That, to me, is exciting. Yeah, yeah. no, I agree. I, there was a guy in the last block that I met, and he did, like, the, this music video, just all on his iPhone. I get the end of it said all, all on the iPhone he goes oh yeah but oh and I edited it all right here with these apps and he's showing me the apps and I'm going wait you, you did that whole thing on your phone yeah. and he's like yeah and, and right now I just finished a feature film and I edited it on my app and I'm going what the heck a dude made an entire feature film on his phone, edited it on it and everything. I mean, it was just so crazy. Not something I want to do. It's so exciting to know that we had that kind of technology. Yeah, that's, literally, that's literally what, like, all these 13, 14 year olds do now. They all make fun. Like, all make money. It's the way that the world's going. And it's beautiful because, it, it, like, it takes away any excuse of, like, oh, well, I don't have this camera. Oh, I don't have this. Oh, I don't. Well, what do you have? What do you have? You know? I just taught a workshop in St. Pete on Sunday. And and one of the things in the, like at the end was like you have a movie studio in your pocket. No, it's, it's true. Literally, yeah. literally movie studio in your pocket. You can do everything yeah. you need. You can buy additional I mean, lenses for it. You can buy stabilizers. You can have tripods. You everything you could possibly need. And you can shoot 4K. You can shoot slow motion. Mm. Just make stuff on your phone. Oh yeah, yeah. Garage Band, right? You can make yeah. your own soundtrack. That's crazy. Yeah. Right now, look at I'm podcasting. Like there are <laughs> apps where you can podcast yeah. for free, and then they put up on the iTunes and Spotify, and you go, what the heck? This is happening right now. Yeah. Used to be this big conundrum of like, how do I even do that? Now it's like, oh, here's an app, and then you go, just, just hit record. I know. Um, just blow. It's so yeah, exciting. Uh, I'm just starting to delve into the iPhone thing because I, I really am curious with what you can do with it. I don't know yet, but there was that film at Sundance about the two... Uh, Tangerine. Yes, that that's amazing that they did that on an iPhone. So, yeah, you do. You have a studio in your pocket and you don't know. Uh, you, you know, you don't realize it a lot of people. And, and you're right, it takes away all the excuses. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of my... All the power in our to, hands, yeah, right? Yeah, it gets away yeah, that that middleman that everyone talks about, the infamous middleman. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you oh, become the, the everything. The, you, you know, are it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, really? but the the thing is, uh, it, it 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 gets into your head that strange stuff about how. Oh, do I have the right camera for this? And all that insecurity. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, it, it just, I got so tired of lugging all that junk around. I want to, simpl uh, you know, simplify. And with an iPhone, you can really simplify. Like you said, just a few tiny little lenses, uh, you know, the, the stabilizer or something like that. And you can really get going with it. So oh, my God. And I love the fact that you can collaborate with people across the Internet, too. Yeah. yeah. There's some guys a couple of days ago that I met. Were they, 
free. There were only a few times where they actually met physically to talk about stuff. The other times it was over Skype or just through email or, oh yeah, can you edit from this point to that point? I did right. this part. Oh yeah, just add that that special effect On thing. On Cole, we used Frame.io. Awesome. Have you ever? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you you know, I, I, I would view it. My editor in another city would, you know, get my notes mm -hmm. underneath oh, that's the great. film and then she would cut it to trim it and you know, do all that stuff. I noticed that Vimeo does something cool like that too. Like you can actually leave notes on the screen. Yeah, that's really handy. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize they do that, but uh, I guess they're taking the frame I.O. idea. Everybody yeah. likes that now. So yeah. That's what we did for, for the Black Pumpkin movie. There, there, I mean, there were like four or five of us giving notes yeah. but uh, to these people in New York who are editing it. And so it was just like really cool to be able to go, boop, you know, yeah, and then write the is. note up there yeah. and know that when they see that, it goes, it just pops up there yeah. for them. It's so good. Oh, That's man, it's good. just, it, it feels so good to be living in this, you know, yeah. and... The it fact that terabyte hard drives are cheaper. That's problems. Like, ah, no excuses anymore. Yeah. yeah. Now, I just have to, now I just have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Now their responsibility is back on your shoulders, yeah. right? Yeah. Can't get away with it. I guess we got to clear the scene. Oh, oh boy. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, howdy, Pilgrim. I reckon you know by now you're listening to the Inspirato Projecto Podcast. Well, if you're thinking you're going to get any better than this, I would have to tell you you're highly mistaken. Hang in there, Padre. yippee ki -yay. I'm standing on a golf course right now. Galley Cruz in the in a bungalow thing behind me where we're all staying tonight. This place is big on the inside. I'm standing outside on this golf course, and I'm watching wild turkeys running across. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all running across. I'm trying to get sounds of them. Let's see if we can get sounds of these guys if I get close enough. Let's see what we can do. Oh, shit. Those guys stopped. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I almost broke their chain. I almost broke their chain. I almost broke their chain. Are those turkeys? That was Christian. Let's see if I could get the real turkeys talking. Let's see what we can do here. Let's check it out. They're walking away from me right now. They're near a tire swing. I'm trying to capture the sounds of these turkeys. Can you hear them? They're not making any sounds. They're walking quickly. They notice I'm chasing them. I'm walking slowly. Okay, okay, now they're pausing because there are a couple older guys golfing. A guy in a light blue shirt and then a guy in a lighter, lighter blue shirt. One's wearing a tan hat. The other's wearing a white hat. I wonder how often these turkeys go loose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven turkeys. It's incredible. Incredible. <laughs> I gotta tell you, the way that the sun is coming through the clouds right now, or the trees, is just phenomenal. Oh boy, okay, wait. We have a turkey situation here. Golf carts. Okay, now the turkeys are confronted with golfers. Oh, gosh. These guys are trying to put them into the tees. Okay, so we've got two golfers on the left. Unfazed, unfazed by the turkey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turkey. Eight? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys keep moving. One, two, three. Six, seven. Okay, seven. Seven turkeys. To my right, you can hear a clinkle clankle. This is an American flag flapping gallantly into the wind. I've got a beautiful golf course out here. It's extraordinary. Ooh, I just got flashes of uh, the prisoner. Like there's this little downward spiral in the way just the way there's just like almost like cobblestone along the wall 
It reminds me so much of the prisoner. Wow, look at how those... That light comes through there, man. Beautiful here. Take a listen to this. This is the... the uh, this is the uh, sound of the flagpole with the flaming in the wind. Isn't that great? You can hear it at a distance, you know, at a portion of this. It looks like something like from Norway. I've never been in Norway, but just like images in my brain or uh, pieces that I've had in my brain. I had a dream one time of being in Norway. It was this open field, open field, kind of close to what I'm looking at right now. This has like a river going through. There's like a bridge. It's like rock. It looks like something you'd see like trolls or Goblins, it's I mean, very medieval. No wonder people love playing golf out here. It's very medieval. The way that these trees are, it looks like there'd be a little hobbit walking across the bridge at any point. And especially the way that the the way that it's the sun is coming down over the the uh coming down over the mountain. The way that it comes down over the mountain. So crazy, I'm having so much deja vu right now. I'm having so much deja vu right now. It's crazy, I brought the uh, rainbow moonstone today. I brought the rainbow moonstone today. There's another bridge. I'm looking at what looks like a... Wait, hold on, smell that. Oh my God, that is fresh. That is fresh, that is fresh, that is fresh. I'm looking out, let's say, pretend this is sort of like a tattooing. I mean, this is really just a large golf course. I see some sand divots and, and a, lot of, a lot of grass, but then these two little golf carts whizzing by in the distance. Now there's another one. They're just, it's like they're land speeders, a bunch of little land speeders. <laughs> That'd be co cool to see some land speeders in a Star Wars film. Oh my god, this is astounding. I was experiencing it, it was so crazy because I'm noticing more and more and more lately the um the the dreams that I'm having are are reflecting themselves into my waking life. It's crazy. It's a, it's astounding. It blows my mind. More and more and more and more and more. And then, of course, I come across this gateway experience thing. Did I talk about that? The CIA document that was released? It was actually, the study was done in 1983. It was set for release uh, 2003. And then 2017 is when it was made available to the public. It's called the gateway experience. And, it's, and this FBI agent ended up, he ended up finding out how to... Uh, he went through all this stuff that I think I was telling you about, uh, finding out about uh, uh, remote viewing, uh, finding out about all of these, all of these interesting, interesting facts about quantum mechanics and all these things that have been deemed as a cult or, um, you know, or frightening or satanic or what have you. He just found out, like, what the information I found, just a purely objective, is not... Um, the information I discovered is not dangerous to any religion. It's not dangerous to any belief system. It's not, it's not, um, it's not something that, uh, is harmful to anybody or anything. This is just information that I've discovered that is, is true 
and and tried and you know there's like 15 16 pages of this that's released so you ought to, you ought to check it out gateway experience uh, check it out gateway experience CIA PDF put that in there oh shit wait are we in the ro- we're in the wrong place aren't we we in the wrong place oh god I just walked up to that door and I didn't see anybody in there that I recognized. <laughs> Shit. Oh my God. Or did I? Or was it? Were those people that I recognized? Oh my God. What am I doing? I got lost. I'm 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 lost. And it's okay. I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost today. But it's okay, hey, hey, I've got tech knowledge. It's okay, hey, hey. Cause right now is all of today. I see turkeys on the field. They're running across the greens. I see sand pits all around. And I see them give me frowns because I'm not dressed like them. And that's what's so funny. I'm not dressed like them at all. But I'll be entertaining them later on, later on. I'll be entertaining them later on, later on. They'll have their dancing shoes on. They'll have dinner jackets on, on, on. They just don't know it right now. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Look at that synchronicity. Five. Five turkeys to my left. (laughs) There's hay in the foreground. There's a, there's a, another go-kart. I'm going to stand in the shadow. Look at this. So the sun is coming over the horizon. <laughs> I'm standing on a hill and I see my, sh- my shadow right now. I'm moving my hand. I move my hand. There it is. So I want you, future self, and you at home viewers, to realize that this is happening right now. Okay? It's like an eyeball. I'm making myself the Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. You're upside down right now. I just made an eyeball. I just made myself into an eyeball. Oh, God, this is great. This is great. I just made myself into an eyeball as a shadow. Here we go. Wow, let's go like this. It's an eyeball, eyeball, eyeball shadow. Oh, it's an eyeball, eyeball, eyeball shadow. Oh, didn't you know that when the light shines just right, just right, just right. When the light, when the light shines just right, it's quiet. Dynamite and out of sight It's all right Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Those people. I did recognize them. It is the right place. All right, we're going back. We're going back. We're going back. I'm not lost, you see? I found myself. I was the buried treasure. (laughs) Infinity marks the spot, folks. The X is merely the crossroads at which that infinity intersects. Oh, God. Thank God it's you guys. It, it was you guys this first time. I have, I have uh, thought that was going to happen. Oh. 
<laughs> that was an optical illusion. Did you walk down by the pool area? No. Let's go walk down to the pool, man. But I watched, I watched some action. I watched some action happen out there. You watched some turkey action? A turkey action! I really try to get their voices on, on audio. Look what we get to do, you guys. Look what we get to do. It's gonna get dark soon, and then I'm gonna get scared. Oh, yeah, yeah. Caddyshack. Has anyone asked them where the Caddyshack is yet? Uh... Because you know what? If they tell us where the Caddyshack is, guess what? That means we get free autographs by Bill Murray. No, man. No, man. No way. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to dip our hand into a turtle. Chex Mix, family size. Let me see what this is. You gotta be kidding me. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, Kurt. Yeah. A smart move with the, uh, the peanut butter, jelly, and bread. Thank you. Because that'll last you all week. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, dri I'm driving around and being like, I'm like, I almost want to like pull up and be like, Kurt, do a hand one to get through the make window. Make me a sandwich. Throw yeah. it over. <laughs> it's right. It's right. Uh, no, I'm gonna drink the beer, but I will happily walk with. But you. I'm thinking like, as we're driving, <laughs> we're on the freeway, we're like, hey, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like, you don't reach it out. <laughs> no. I lost all the jelly, but it's still good. <laughs> oh man, it's just <laughs> flapping in the wind. I'm too busy eating turtle chucks mixed chips. Polly. Oh shoot! Sorry, that's why I'm very inconsiderate. I'm very inconsiderate. I'm talking with my mouth open while I'm eating. Terrible. We'll talk more later. I just noticed there's an espresso uh, machine here. The propaganda and agitation drones of the Miklam Marketing Department have for years uh, led us to believe the notion that Miklam itself has been ingrained into our genetics ever since a very specific moment in our evolution as a species. Primitive human, fatigued from a hungry day of hunting, finally satiated by a belly of delicious, freshly cooked meat product, begins to act a fool. And the rest is history. The Meat Clown Meat Solution. Not the first, won't be the last. But the reality of it is, you can order anytime from www.meatclownbuttons.bigcartel.com. It's Meat Clown approved. <laughs>